we find the potential energy from the given force law. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Since R cannot be negative, note that the curve that represents you or is half a parabola. This is the sketch of the potential energy. Now we write the expression for the effective potential. R represents the angular momentum, while mu represents the reduced mass. Now, let us sketch the effective potential. R underscore C is the radius of a circular orbit. Now let's find the radius R underscore C of a circular orbit for this effective potential. The condition for a circular orbit is that the first derivative of the effective potential with respect to the radius at r equal r underscore c equals zero. This condition for a circular orbit allows us to find the radius of the circular orbit. Now I'm finding the first derivative of the effective potential and then I replace R by R C. Remember that R underscore C is the radius of a circular orbit. Here we get an equation in terms of R C, the radius of a circular orbit. We solve for this radius of a circular orbit. After solving, we get the value of R underscore C. Will the circular orbit be stable or unstable? We are going to explain.
the secular orbit will be stable if the second derivative at r equal r underscore c is positive i.e. Now let's find the second derivative of the effective potential. If I insert the value of RC into the expression of the second derivative of the effective potential and get the positive value, then the conclusion will be that my sacral orbit is stable. Inserting the value of RC into the second derivative of the effective potential, we get a positive value meaning that the sacral orbit is stable we conclude that the circular orbit is stable because for k is a positive value remember that k is a positive constant Dear friend, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.